Howdy there, David Duford at davidduford.com where I coach, train, and recruit insurance agents to become producers, top producers, in final expense annuities, Medicare, and many other sales and marketing programs. Thank you for joining me. Today's topic is uh, five lessons I've learned interviewing top producing six and seven figure earning insurance agents. The reason I'm putting together this uh, wonderful program to illuminate my findings to you is that uh, I've been doing interviews with top producers in my organization and definitely outside in different products and different markets since 2017. And because I've done all the interviews, had the privilege of listening to all the interviews, right? And one of the things I have as far as a personality thing is, is curiosity. I'm curious to see what works and why people are successful. It's an interesting endeavor. It's an interesting thing to involve myself in. And so uh, what I'm going to do today is try to basically summarize what I've learned for you so that you can hopefully take away the lessons that really all of these agents and agencies have as far as kind of a fundamental theorem of success. I'll try to do my best. By the way, if you want to learn more about these interviews and see the ones that I've done, first thing you can do is do a, a YouTube search for David Duford interviews to give you all the interviews I've ever done, probably another couple dozen of them and more. And then also behind me is this book. Uh, this book here, uh, Interviews with Top Producing Agents, is the written format, which is equally good too. You can buy that on Amazon or my website as an ebook. So the first lesson today that top producers have is a maniacal focus. A maniacal focus. So what does that mean? Everybody I really deal with is masters of one thing. Uh, I can think of multiple agents in the final expense business that have been doing this five, 10 years. They do one thing masterfully well. That's it, final expense. They might do a tiny bit of something here or a tiny bit of something there, but that's what they do. Their primary 95% focus is on that one thing. They're not spread thin from the beginning. They're not selling different mar products to different markets. They're not all over the board. They're just laser focused on that one deal. And you even see it at the agency level. You see successful agencies that just recruit one thing and do it very well. They have a team based around the, the sale, the successful sale of just one singular product. So if you're curious as to maybe ways to improve your production or you're looking to get into this business and you want to know one way to give yourself a better chance of success, get really good at one thing. Stick with one thing, especially when you get started because this business is deceptively difficult. It doesn't look that hard from the outside, but when you get in it, you see it's kind of a different animal altogether. Number two, they are a, have a singular product specialist. So again, like I said, this kind of builds into the first one, is that their focus is on one product. They do one thing really well. They're not trying to be like a state farm or a local agency that does home, auto, life, where they're spread thin. They're generalist. Again, one litmus test is to figure out who goes on conventions and what do they do to get there. Conventions usually are a good test to figure out who are good agents, who are top producers. And many of the people that I've met on conventions, they just do one thing. They don't do a bunch of things. They do one thing extremely well. And again, back to like what I said earlier, it's really important as you start into this business, if you're brand new, figure out what product you want to sell and focus on it. I talk a lot about cross-selling, and I think it's something that's important, but I think it only comes with time and skill development. It's not something you want to get done out of the gate because that's just more potential for overwhelm. It's something really reserved if you need to for those agents who are advanced and who have literally gone through the beginning phases of this business to where they've been proven to be successful. Number three, all of these top producers I've talked to are born fundamentalists. They are zealots for the basics. No one I've talked to, mm, I'll tell you, maybe I'll take that back for a few of them, but 90% of that I've talked to don't have like any special superpowers with sales or superpowers with lead generation. They do the same basic stuff, 
that everybody already is aware of. The difference is their execution of the fundamentals is so consistent and it's so disciplined that it outsizes everybody else's because their application is so incredible and enormous and many times more scaled. I'll take you, give you the perfect example. I've got an agent right now. He wrote 51,000 in final expense. It's a lot of business. He did that back in August of 2019. He is executing the same strategy he did when he was a year, uh, first month in this business doing 10 leads a week. He has, he has increased his leads eight times and he's increased his activity eight times. But the construction of the basics of his business, the sales process, the appointment setting process, the closing process, the carrier selection have not fundamentally changed. The fundamentals are in, in, in set in stone. He has just increased the activity and application of the fundamentals. So what are the fundamentals, you may be asking? Well, business of insurance is all about seeing the people. How can you see more people? If you've got a system that works well, that uh, delivers prospects to you, that you can set appointments with and run those appointments and sell some of them, and you have a margin of success that allows a re good return on investment, the solution is not to come up with a new mousetrap. The solution is make that mousetrap like 10 times as big. Leverage that system to a larger extent. Again, I can think of one guy who runs um, a large insurance agency out in town. All he does is final expense. This agency does 20, 30 million a year. He's got key relationships with people. He's, he's been intimately involved in making sure his product is, is great for the people that he serves. And he is a millionaire in renewal and income because of his investment and consistency in that one particular thing in the fundamentals. So be fundamental. You don't have to do anything markedly different than what has already been proven to work. That's what's crazy about it. And figuring out what works is just a function of you finding an agency that fits your personality, that has a proven concept, and can show you how to do it. Kind of like what we do. Number four, no fancy strategies. Again, there's nobody here, well, I say nobody, 90% of the people that I've seen don't have any fancy strategies to produce. They literally just talk on the phone, close them over the phone, or usually more likely talk to them in person and close them in person. It's a rinse and repeat strategy. It is a very scripted process that is repeated every single time there's a sales presentation. And the objection rebuttals are the same. There's nothing fancy. It's literally a script that they follow that they've internalized, sure. But they don't have to rely on any sort of, you know, advanced jujitsu, you know, uh, sales tactics or lead generation tactics to employ the nice thing about this, again, it goes back to what really matters is that this is approachable for you. You know, many times top producers look around and are like, I'm not doing anything special. I just am consistent in its application. But the nice thing for you, new agents or agents looking to get involved in a particular program, is that if you can just duplicate what they do, you can see those kind of results in many cases. Not always, but in many cases, you can get there's like kind results if you follow the same system and number five the most important i think and and the least understood is mindset the people i've talked to that are top producers have indomitable wills they have mindsets that it's hard to put your finger on to define what that means but you can just tell when you talk to them the best thing i could suggest you to do is listen to the audios all the audios and the YouTube videos where I do these interviews. And you will hear some spark of life in these people's voices that is different than the average agent that you talk to. And it's, in a sense, a, a consistent thing you'll hear with the top producers. Again, what does that mean, that mindset thing? It, you know, it's a combination of different things. The, the absolute indomitable will of action uh, to, the, the, the no pri take no prisoners, no quitting resolve that people have, the ability to completely be responsible for the outcomes of what their life ends up being. Um, to some extent, a level of creativity, sure. 
to a certain extent, a level of skill in the home, sure. But there's something about the enthusiasm and energy that many of these producers have that give them this capability to become top producers. Again, what's, what's this all mean? Many of these people have gone through the same struggles as you do. Several of the people I talked to had failed at one point or another. They just didn't get into this business successful. There was a bit of a struggle to begin with. And they corrected their mindsets to improve. So again, everything is learnable. That's what Brian Tracy, uh, old school sales uh, trainer said. And, and mindset is too. You can change how you perceive things. You can, imp- you can look at things differently. And that view on your life and the circumstances you're in, if you change your view, it will change your perception of everything. And you can find value in otherwise frustrating circumstances. And that kind of shift in your mindset makes a big deal. So lo and behold, top five things, maniacal focus, uh, specific product specialist, born of fundamentals, nothing super fancy, just going to the basics, and a mastery of mindset. Again, I hope this video gives you some perspective, but I can tell you this. This is really a primer for the book behind me, the interviews with top insurance uh, agents, top producing insurance agents, or by a primer of listening to my videos and interviews on video and on podcasts. It's so hard in a video like this to tell you the profound impact that these interviews have had on shifting my own thinking of the business and really collecting a perspective on what makes someone successful in this business and what doesn't. And the only way I think, and the best way that you're going to learn that is by diving into these interviews and finding out the answers for yourself. If you've ever read Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, it's kind of the same thing when he says, it's like, look, there's something in this book that you're going to find, but I'm not going to give you the answer. You'll just kind of discover it through reading through this. It'll click with you one day. And it sounds very mysterious and esoteric, but it's true. You learn through application and, and, and seeking to find. And that's what I have realized. And I hope you take time to do one of the two things or both in order to find this out for yourself. It will make a huge difference in your life. So David Dufour, davidduford.com. Check out my website if you'd like more information on joining my agency and all the programs I offer. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.